Everybody's focused on, well not everybody, but some people are focused on the whole Ukraine situation. Like I just seen some TikTok video of these Edomites in Paris, women by the way, all women, half naked with the Ukrainian flag painted on their chest. What is that going to do for anybody? Like, what, They're in front of the Eiffel Tower, like, that's what I mean, like, what, what is that going to do for Ukraine? Like, you kidding me? You just give it a free show. It's madness, man. But, like I said, in America... We don't think nothing of it, especially our people. We're lost in the sauce. We have no idea what's going to happen. We think America's big, bad, and mighty, but in all actuality, God has a, a plan for this place, which is to, which is to destroy it. Where? That was the same one? That was like two days ago. Evalde shooting? Not that one, right? The school shooting? No, that happened like two days ago. Yeah, and, and at the... Uh, the elementary school, if that's even true, because I mean, like I said, they, the, the the American government, they're so sly and slick and devilish, right. they'll, they'll pull a false flag on, on their own people. They'll pull a psyop on, on their own people of the country. Unbeknownst to you, if you're not awake, not knowing what's going on, which one is, yeah, that was like two days ago. They'll, they'll pull a false flag, there, there's something well, I don't want to go too deep into it, but there, there's projects that the government and the military has. The main one that I can reference is, is Project Paperclip. Who knows what Project Paperclip is about? You know, you know what I'm talking about? This, it, what's that? You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Project Paperclip, and also there was something that they were doing to have the United States government portray Cuba in a way so they can invade Cuba. That's why we got to go on time to obey. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, exactly. When they invaded Cuba, that's why America don't like Cuba because Cuba obviously was allied with Russia at one point in time. That's where we get the Cuban Missile Crisis from. Russia gave Cuba missiles, and Cuba's right in America's backyard. So guess what? America's like, wait a minute, <laughs> we can't have this. Let's go to Cuba and invade them and put a military base there, and that's where they do all the torture and all that type of stuff. Guantanamo Bay? Yeah, Guantanamo Bay. But that, that's his reason just for them to have some uh, type of control yeah. there. And see, I, and quite as kept, they're still looking for uh, Asada Shakur, too. Right, they're not going anywhere. But, anyways, the, the, the main point I'm making is that there's projects that they pull in reference to them trying to dictate and influence the, uh, the mass people to get behind their uh, uh, their wicked works. And the only thing they want to do right now is what? Take away our guns, basically portray Russia in the light to where we shouldn't like them, and vice versa. You know, it happens over there too, but in all actuality, they're both European. They're all Europeans. And they're all wicked as hell. But our job is to shed through the, the, the smoke screen and whatnot and tell our people, guess what? This is all ordained in the Bible. This is already written beforehand. According to the prophecy of the Lord, and according to uh, uh, his son also referenced some prophecies about destruction and judgments as well. But uh, give me this first one. Isaiah. Sirach 39. Give me that one first. What happened to the uh, pray for buffalo uh, memes and all that type of stuff? Did anybody say that on Facebook? But there was a lot of pray for Ukraine, right? Isn't that crazy? Ten black people get shot down in cold blood in a mass shooting. No pray for a buffalo at all. But pray, pray for the Europeans that you don't know. Pray for the Europeans that they uh, gave them hundred thousand dollars just to come over here, and then what? They gave a, they put out a memo talking about 
these Ukrainians that come, don't be offended, but they might call you nigga. Didn't they say that? Am I lying? They said that. Yep. Hey, these white people that come over here, they might they might be racist towards you, but we're gonna allow free passage into the country. Meanwhile, the Haitians and the Mexicans that want to cross the border, we gotta keep them over there. That's exactly what happened. Give, give me this. This is why the white man gotta go. Read. It, it's madness. Go ahead. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 391. Uh -huh. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're occupying the meditation thereof. Because why? Give me um, Deuteronomy 33 and 4 real quick. We're occupied in the law because what? what? And occupied in the meditation thereof uh -huh. will seek out the wisdom of the ancient. We're going to do what? Seek out. The wisdom, the wisdom of the of all of all the ancient. We're gonna seek out the wisdom of all the ancients, meaning what the ancient prophecies, everything our forefathers wrote in this book. But why we got to meditate the law? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-three and verse four. Moses commanded us a law, uh -huh. even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. Yeah, so why wouldn't you want to dive in into your heritage, learn about your forefathers and what they followed uh, up until a point, even though the most already. Uh, or data we were going to go off even in the law it says that verbatim he's going to scatter us and bring us back in the law as well right after Deuteronomy 28 Deuteronomy 30 but fast forward three four thousand years later our people are still lost in America's uh, 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 wine as they call it Babylon Jews man you know what I mean is that it give me that we'll seek out read that from the top for he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. Yeah, we'll seeking out the wisdom of all the ancients, all the dark parables, the things. I think it's going to go into that. In the second verse? Oh no, it's enough. It's, yeah, go ahead. We'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. What are we going to be doing? Be occupied in prophecy. Exactly. So we start with the laws of milk, the oracles of God, our heritage, the foundation. And then you graduate to the prophecies and parables and dark sayings towards what the Bible's talking about and how you, how you decipher the Bible and how you read what's going to happen in the future. The prophets are writing these things down. They didn't know what they were saying in the visions. But that's why it says we have more wisdom than the ancients as well. Because we can look at history, look at the Bible, pair it together, decipher what's going on, realize, okay, this happened already, and this ain't happened yet. The church of America is yet to come, but it will happen. Because everything happened in Ezekiel 38 or 38 and 39 is happening right before our eyes, man. We're rushing in Ukraine. And the, uh, and obviously, uh, uh, what happened with uh, Brexit and things like that. Certain European countries leaving the, uh, uh, the union that they have with, with America. Go ahead. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men. Of the renowned men. We will keep the sayings of the renowned men, starting with who the world calls Christ, Moses, David, all the prophets, Read. And where, and where subtle parables are. And where what? Where subtle parables. Subtle parables are. You can read a parable. Sometimes it means some instruction on what it's talking about. But some parables are plain. Go ahead. He will be there also. He will be there also. Go ahead. He will give. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences. Of what? Of grave sentences. And be conversant in dark parables. Conversant in dark parables. What's a dark parable? We go to Lamentations, the third chapter. Get, get that real quick. What's going on? Where, where, where are you from, sister? El Salvador? So, oh, okay. Listen, oh, she speaks English. So, all right. So we, uh, we believe, according to the prophecies, right, that we are the true children of Israel, right? Because... The people in the land today in the, that are in the land of Israel don't fit none of the, none of the prophecies of the Bible, right? Go to Deuteronomy 28 first. First, for, first we're gonna go into the tribe, right? Give me um, Genesis 49. And you go to Deuteronomy 33. Are you there? You give me. You go to Deuteronomy. Watch this. Read. Right? This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse one. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So this is just talking about when Jacob was dying on his deathbed. He called his 12 sons, the children of Israel, to his deathbed. Right? And he says, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to your children in the last days. 
shoot down with the zoom, zoom. First 13. Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea. Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea, read. And he shall be a haven of ships. And he shall be a haven of ships, read. And his border shall be unto Zidon. And his border shall be unto Zidon. But remember the first verse, it says that we're going to uh, he called his children and he's going to tell them what's going to happen in the last days. You got the map? You got it? Now read the first one. It says, read it. Verse 13, Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea. Do you see Zebulon dwelling at the haven of the sea there? No, right? It, it's landlocked, right? Read. And he shall be for an haven of ships. There's no, there's no possible way that it was talking about back then. Read. And his border shall be unto Zidon. So Sidon's right there. You see Sidon? So this is impossible that he was talking about back then. So it's a prophecy about in the last days. So where is this talking about? It's talking about uh, in Central America, from Guatemala down or down to Panama, because there is haven of ships. We border two oceans. And how many ports are in, in Central America? Just in El Salvador, we got four. And then Guatemala, Nicaragua, and the and the, and the most important one on the earth. The, pa the Panama Canal. Yes, but it's not our borders of South America. It's just down a lot of. Look, we'll start paying for bananas here, like they paid for fruit in Hawaii. That's, that's why they had they had a civil war, and they said, you know. Yeah, but uh, I lost all my. Yeah, I lost all my uncles in that war. That's my right. uncle, my uncles were at the Well, they tried to put an end to democracy. Well, actually. Actually, is, what, what it was, they were fighting the farmeros and the campesinos. They were tired. And they wanted to have reform. They wanted to have reform against a government that yes. was backed by American money, Bernie. right? Exactly. They had, de they had death squads. I know. Right? Killing off innocent people. people. Right? Los campesinos. So the campesinos rose up back in, what, 19, 1930? Started with with, with Father Mundo Martí, right? So and then they they they, they, they well, that's a contradiction what we do here in the United States, right? Well, at the same time, Why? but the United States, but okay, just here in the United States, there's a school called the School of Americans at Fort Hood at, at, at an American base that they taught and they trained all dictators to all that like Latin America. How many times has America overthrew? themselves has overthrown the de democratic nations. Yeah. Of course, all the time. Are they? Are they? They're relying they're relying on American dollars now. They well, took the colon away. The they took the, the they, they, they took away they took away the colon. Yes, but who's, who's killing it? The workers. The people the, who work. the government did it. The but government did it, and you know what's crazy? And you know what's crazy? The a president, uh, a, a president. The the listen, the, a president of El Salvador that did that, he was FMLN, as a matter of fact, the one that fought against Irene. But the, it's still the workers who fuel the, the economy. That's of course. That's anywhere, That's right? Anywhere. That's anywhere. But the contradiction comes in this, right? It's the industrial arm of slavery, you know, corporate slavery. It was still under corporate slavery. Oh, absolutely, so absolutely. It's, you know, it's still it's a, it's a machine that has to be fueled. Do, 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 do you think it's a corrupt machine? I think it's a corrupt machine. Absolutely, right? I do. But I do. In, in, in America, they use a strong hand against small countries through all Latino America, oh. right? So what do you do to change that? Come back to the laws of the Lord. I agree. And, 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 and stop being reliant and start, stop loving our oppressors. Right? Because... To this day, they have taught us to love them more than we love each other. I don't want to discriminate. I want to elevate and move it forward. But who needs this elevation more than us? Okay, it's the poor. The poor who talk. Look, we forget about the people below us. You know, we do. Everybody does. And who did God come and save? The, drop, the, the ones that yeah, weren't yeah, hearing yeah. the message. Uh, uh, yeah. So we gotta do an extra. Listen, listen. 
Who, who's the rich in this country? Who's the rich in this country, sister? Sister. Who, who runs the institutions? A few families. Ooh, we. Wh wh which families? Are, are they black? No, they're Jewish. Oh, the Jewish. Interesting. You're absolutely right. I know I am. So, 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 so you're, 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 what's that? American made. I'm sorry? We gotta bring industry back. What are you talking about? We import everything here. We don't make anything anymore. Yeah, we do. What? There's all type of fruits and like crops and all that stuff yeah, we get from America. It's seasonal. If China we, buys their rice from America. Yeah, what are you, what are you talking about? It's seasonal. When the borders close, Of course it's seasonal. Like Everything's are, seasonal. We're paying 20 bucks for bananas. It's off season. I mean, that's if you want to buy bananas. That's I mean, you don't, you don't have to, exactly. You, you don't have to though. There's seasonal clothes. What are you talking about? We're you can grow your own fruit in your own backyard. You don't have to go to this. They don't have those you can learn them, right? Listen, 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 listen. You're talking about the, the commonality of people. I'm talking about how to break away from the system that you're talking about. The masses do what the corporates tell them to do. The sheep do it. We don't do that. Right. I'm not a sheep. If we. Well, I mean, you want to you want to coincide with him now. You want to coincide with the sheep. No, I don't. I yes, you do. Elevate. How? How do you elevate? You gotta feed them. You gotta teach them. Teach them what? What are you What are you trying to teach people right now? To be kind. To be kind. So being kind is going to tell me how to grow a crop in my backyard. No, but eventually your father and your grandfather might. What? Why not you? I know how to grow crops. No, why don't you tell people to do that then? I'm, I'm not saying you, you have that property to teach other people to do it. Well, yes, and you can also you can do it by multiple ways. You can teach them, you can teach them where, how to do it by a book. You can teach them by well, the Well, no, you, you're changing you the topic. By, you're changing the topic. You can mano a mano teach them in an urban garden. I agree with that. But you, you reference people buying $20 bananas. Right, and you can and you can the, an alternative to that is what? Having a backyard, or having a, a, a garden, window. and growing it yourself. And not having to buy it from nobody. That's called group economics. So we're not forgetting about the poor. We're here, the most poor people right now. Teaching our people. It's, it's, a, it's a mindset. What's that? We should be giving away seeds. We don't have any seeds up here. We're giving away spiritual seeds. That's what we have. You know what I mean? That's right. Because it starts in your mind, right or wrong. Start with some gesture of goodwill. We're doing a gesture of goodwill. We've been doing it for over four or five years out here. Free of charge. Free, free. I, I, I love those seeds. Trust me. Make sure they're heirloom, not GMO. Hey, they're heirloom. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. We don't need no GMO seeds up here. No, I do anything. Hey, look, I'm, I'm from a software. My grandmother used to tell me, and so she would send me every year to my uncle's farm, plantation. Give me some rock, there too. We recycle everything. Nothing goes to waste. But the thing about it, though, it's very hard to even get, get real true heirloom um, seeds because why? Because a lot of fields have G GMO plants already, and natural cr uh, cross pollination happens through, through winds and everything, right? So even if it has natural cross pollination through winds or or, or or bees or whatever it may be, it's very hard to find out if that seed came truly from a heirloom seed from a heirloom plant. Huh? You have to evolve. You evolve. Yeah, I mean, what? That's just one step of evolution. You have to evolve. And you have to embrace the new and the old and evolve. We're in the new today, new tomorrow. The new, the new what? You, you, you're generalizing know, things. You don't now. know? You, you're just we rambling. Have, we're overrun by plastics, right? So what do you do with that? The I mean, the, there's, the there's, there's, you don't have to buy plastics, though. No, but you can recycle plastics. I, I agree, but you don't have to buy them to begin with, right? Uh, well, we're overrun with plastics, plastics they, sure. They give them to you but it's, it's, you it's, it's I agree. But I, I, listen, you can you don't have to buy plastics. I don't, but I have to use so, it to give it to me. What do you what? The government gives it to you. Sometimes plastic you what? It. I, you don't have to buy anything plastic. I don't buy it. I cook with wooden spoons. Look, I don't have cast iron skillets. Look, I'm at the mercy of a government. If I want to have plastic, that's not a problem. That was you're at the mercy of a government, but you're thinking differently right now. Look, I but in, in the same talk, in the same token, you're trying to merge with the, the beast, as they call it. I agree. Right now, I'm in a government institutionalized setting. In reference to what? In reference to the fact that I'm late, I'm in a shelter system. You're in a shelter so system. I'm hostage to what's given to me. But so what, what's... I'm hostage, I do my best to align with the earth. Align with the earth? That's hard to do. But everything I do is in... Is 
it? It's in conjunction with no. my mother Earth. Give me that. With, with the resources Resource I have. Mm -hmm. I'm hostage. What do you want me to do? I'm hostage. So what is my contribution if I cannot do any more than what I'm allowed to do? According to who, though? According to the fact that I don't want to be dead on the street as a woman. So instead and I'm not going to sell myself. I agree. For, uh, that's that's for great. That, that, that's that's so, great. Come on. I have to be so, cognizant of where I am in this world. But here's the thing. You're saying you're restricted to a certain I atmosphere. Because I'm not gonna go but look, look how you're talking right now. You're, you're talking differently than what your, your circumstances are. So what, what's, what's going to change? If your mindset, your mindset is, is somewhere else than what you're talking about. No, my mindset is to compromise with the new world. Because I can't oh, you're compromising. Give me that in but James 4. That's ridiculous. So look, that is ridiculous, man. You, what's your name, sister? What's your name, sister? Marisa. Marisa. Why, you, why would you compromise what it says that you don't agree with? Look, Does that what, make sense? What did Jesus do? He didn't compromise. Look, he went to they, the they, they, what people? To the dodge, to the distraught, throwing away garbage. And, and did he compromise? Look, he brought him to a new tomorrow. Did, I mean, he didn't do that yet, but he, he preached about it. But then everybody what? Betrayed him, right? They murdered him for his word. They, exactly. What, what, what word, though? What word? Well, didn't they murder him? What word though? What word did they murder him for? He did preach salvation. He did preach salvation. Yes, and they murdered him at the stake. But that, that's not what they murdered him for, though. What did they murder him for? Give me that in uh, uh, John 11. Where are you at? The Bible itself is a conflict. Wow, well, really? Who wrote the Bible? Multiple people. Males wrote the Bible. Multiple people. Males wrote the Bible. My tradition is word of mouth. What tradition is that? What? Came from my native, word of mouth. What's that? Native? Yeah. And, and, and this is how this started. By word of mouth. And so Moses went to the mountain. I still have my native. I can I can cross I can look at a grave in El Salvador and track my lineage before the Americas. That's great. Right. So, uh, so I know where I came from. Are you Lenka or are you Pipin? Lenka? Okay, my family's Pipin. Now, the thing about it is that our people who who first came over here and instilled the system that we're living in right now? The white man, right? And, and guess what? We're, and it was prophesied that we were going to be at the mercy of them. But I'm not a hundred percent native. I'm also part What's your father? He's a He's Damn. Basque. Huh? He's Basque. From the tongue of Bernie Mountain. Well, the, the, the Basque... I don't know their lineage. Dude. They were, they, 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 uh, the Basque, the Basque, dude, they were, they, they were, uh, they were oppressed as hell over there in Spain too. Here you go. And they were part freedom fighters. They're probably the ones that got taken over there. And then half my lineage also comes yeah. from gypsy. You're not, you're not, you're not a gypsy. I'm pretty yes. sure you're not a gypsy. Yes, I am. I have Father? a native gift that are gypsies. Gypsies from where? From North Africa. North Africa. From Cyprus. Cyprus? Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, it's, you're probably an Israelite for sure. That's not a problem. But that's where it came from. That's where the quote unquote Salvador, the Salvadorians came from. All the all the Hispanic tribes that they call today all came from the East. You're familiar with that, right? And that's how we prove we're Israelites. And I'm, you know, I'm just discovering it. So, you know, my niece, I'm still naive in my native tradition. And But why, why do you say the Bible is a contradiction, though? Because it is. Some of it is. In reference to what, though? What? You have to present an argument to us. Well, I'm still discovering it, but I'm... But you're, 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 you're regurgitating things, though, without proof. Well, give me time. I have to study But you can't, tell, you can't tell us that, though. Look, so you have to, to study the Bible, but you know it's a contradiction. I know. Without I studying. I know. Where? How? Because it was written by a male, and it forgot the native... Native. But the natives practice the natives practices didn't come customs from in the Bible. We didn't come from father. That's the contradiction. Um, what? You know Hold on, what? Hold on, what did you say? We come from mother, not from father. So you father came from mother. You didn't come out of your father's testicles? Yes, but who has the birth of life? Mother. No, without the man has mother, life in him. The man has life in him. But without mother, there would be no life. Who has the seed? Man. But who without have, mother. Okay, that's there's right. No, you no can't get pregnant without a man's seed. You need both. Okay, you can't get pregnant without a man's seed. You need both. Well, why you are you trying to single that. out the mother? You but, come from mother. No, you come from your dad. We, we give life. Great. 
and you can't give life without a man putting the seed I in agree. you. So why why are you trying to say that? I'm sorry. Now where did mother come from? Father. A man. There's the contradiction. Right? No. Your, your thought process is all fucked up. That's not literal. That's but that's, that's not literal. No, it's not. That's Where not literal. Came from. That's not that's literal. A no, you don't you don't know enough. Okay. You just say you have to study the Bible, but you're spewing rhetoric that the white man told you. Have, have a good afternoon, Mary Sue. You, you, you're bugged out, but I love you, you know? I, I, I love you, sister. Don't spew rhetoric to us without proof. You don't know enough. I'm sorry. What's going on? What's, what's, your, what's your nationality, man? What's your father? English okay. for Britain. Well, he's a white man, right? Okay. He's a white man, right? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm learning him right now. I, I believe so. So you, you consider he yourself? No, nah, he, he's definitely not white. He's definitely not white. Hey, man, go somewhere, man. We already talked to you. But anyways, look at the signs. God hates white people. You believe in the Bible, man? You believe in God? Yeah. And you're interested by the sign, right? No, that's not what I asked you. I said you were interested in the sign. That's why you came up here and talked to you about the sign. The sign right there. God hates all white people. And we can yeah, pr prove us wrong. Why not? Are you sure? You read the Bible before? Yeah. You ever seen Jesus Christ? Do you live enough years? I got where Jesus Christ when he lived. I mean that's not that's I'm way past twenty two, so I mean that's not a problem. Give me Psalms eleven and seven. I'm sorry? I have seen enough evil okay. that which derives its life by negation. What came out of this man's mouth and which was written on the sign, uh -huh. there was a man named Hitler. Ooh, wee. Was Hitler white? Was Hitler white? Was Hitler white? Industrial murder. Industrial murder? Can you describe that to me? Can you describe that? They can rest it for that. Oh, really? Did, did the British do it? Did the Spaniards do it? Did the British do it? Did the British con conquer their own world? Oh, did they conquer it? So if you colonize somebody, you don't conquer them? What are you talking about? For a minute? Who runs the earth right now? I'm asking, I'm asking you. There's a whole, okay, great. No, 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 no. Who runs the earth? Who runs the earth? <laughs> Give me that day of four. Who the runs the earth? The devil runs the world. Who's the devil? The world Who's the devil? That's that, that's that's rhetoric. Who, who runs the earth right now, as you can see? I, I know. It gets off the direction of the truth. That's your problem. That's you right. The, the white man runs the world with his military might. That's how they colonize the world, like you just said. No. Who runs Australia? Who runs Australia? Who runs Africa? Who runs Europe? Who runs America? Who runs Latin America? That's right. Why? Why can't you answer the question? No, you're running. I'm asking you a direct question. Who created all that? Who created the infrastructure? What? Hold on. Who created that system? Who created that system, sir? So they allowed the white man to rule that society, right? There's no white man ruling society by contract. Are you sure? There are positive, there are white people who live in various nations. I agree. Like but how do they get there? People. How do they get there? But who runs it though? Who runs it? Who's in government seats right now? I can't I don't even relate to the question. Oh I know, I know. You are you, proving yourself to be a devil. I've got it's not, it's not right. The Constitution came from God? That's right. You know what the Constitution says? That black people are three fifths of human. Oh. And that, and the, the black people are three fifths of human beings in the same constitution you're talking about. When the time society by And it says that Indians are savages. You believe in that? It took women. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that though? Years to get to vote. Who cares? Uh, vote for what? There's a lot of people who vote for who? Vote for the white people that oppress us, right? Don't you think there's an accomplishment? Don't you think there's accomplishment? Yeah. How? How did they get this country? How did they get this country, sir? How do white people get this country to... Well, this one was born here. <laughs> what the fuck is 
devil. It's the bro. devil. <laughs> this is why you don't want to answer because there was an old British saying, right, that the sun will never uh, set on 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 on. on Right? What does it mean? Happened. What does it mean? It that they ran their earth from that the sun would never set on the British Empire. That what does that mean? It means that the promises that were passed from Jacob onto his children. I'm not Israel, asking you that. We're, ta we're, we're talking about the Bible now. I'm asking. I'm asking you a specific saying that the British said the that the sun would never enemies. set on the British Empire, that, meaning that they have. Colonies York, from Hong Kong, Hong Kong all the way to the, to, to the Western Empire, to, to the Western Hemisphere, the right? So the, the sun British never sat the sat on on the British Empire. This is how they, this Look is how the British ran the earth, man. Read the end of Exodus and the promises are passed. Now let's go. Now let's go to the Bible and read, read who's the promises are for. Right. Now let's prove God hates first. Give me this. God. This is the book of Psalms, chapter your name, man. My name's Raymond. Raymond. You believe you're an Edomite? No. Okay, not a problem. We'll, we'll prove that in a second. Right. Book of Psalms, chapter 11, verse 7. Yeah. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. God loves righteousness. What else? His countenance doeth behold the upright. That's 7 and 11. 7 and 11. Psalms 7 and 11. My bad. A little dyslexia. Go ahead. Book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 11. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalms 5 and 5. I wish you knew Michael. And then Proverbs 6 and 16. Give me that. Give me Proverbs 6. The book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The foolish, his name is Raymond today. Read. <laughs> Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou what? Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? Raymond, Raymond. Talk to me, Raymond. What is iniquity? Unequal, No, it's wickedness. Iniquity means wickedness in the Bible. It means wickedness sin. Is a, corruption, a personal form of corruption. A it's personal form. It's inside a person. Wickedness is inside But what real people don't agree with that? You know what, what, what if rapists means? think that they're doing something prosperous and righteous you know in their eyes? What reverse means? It means opposite and other than straight. I mean, and, there are people and, and, and that's the white race. Like that. Give me that in Psalms 58. There are people who have that inside of us. Do you believe you are born that way? That's wicked. The white man was born that way, you agree? Give me that. There are people who will land in the lake of fire. I'm sorry? It's going to be you. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Raymond and his people are going to be in the lake of fire. Raymond. 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 Let me, let, me, let, me, let me read you the Bible, Raymond. I don't see a bus. The, the, bus, the bus ain't here yet. The bus ain't here yet, man. This could go on for three days. No. Whatever, 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 whatever your bus comes, you can go ahead and skedaddle, man. Read this. Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Uh -huh. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That describes the white race, man. That's There's right. There's a video I just seen yesterday. That, I've seen it before. But I, listen, listen, listen. Listen. You're, you're an Edomite, so of course you're not going to agree with what we're talking about. You're a devil, man. An awful lot of white people ended evil in this country. Ended evil? Ended it. When? Slavery. Huh? Slavery. There's still slavery going on right now. There were a lot of black families who never were Bro, slaves. There's still slavery going on right now. People wore blue. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened like a month and a half ago in Georgia? Right. No, no. You know, you know what happened, right? Because of course you don't care. I heard that you know, stuff happened in Texas. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, uh, of course, of course. But I'm talking about slavery right now. You know, there's Mexicans that were working on a, a, a plantation in slavery or in Georgia just a few months ago. They got uh, uh, caught up. For putting Mexicans in slavery for picking apples, twenty steals, twenty cents a day. Steals the work of the captain. Had him held at gunpoint. Is that slavery? Is that slavery? So why did you say it ended? Why did you say white people ended it when they're doing it in two, in twenty twenty two? What are you talking about? That was a hundred years ago. I just told you something that happened this year. I just told you something that happened this year. There are women. And you know what else in the Constitution? You know what else in the Constitution? Legal slavery, the Thirteenth Amendment. That's right. If you commit a crime, you can go. You can be put in slavery. That's why you get all your license plates. All that stuff happens in, in the prison system. That's what they make in the prison system. Every license plate. All type of clothing. Oppression right there. I'm sorry. There is oppression right there. And who created that system of oppression? Well, well, oh my God. Come on, this Come on, this 
Oh, oh, great. I, I like that. I like that. What's restorative justice? No, that's not what it means. That's not what it means. That's not what it means. They get redeemed. Who gets redeemed? It's called expiation. The value of life was did the white people value life when they came over and murdered a hundred million indigenous people? Woo! Right. Oh, I know. There's your bus. There's your bus. Can you restore their life? Yeah, can you restore a hundred million bodies? I hope all your against this dissolve. What are you talking about? Where is your resolve, Raymond? You're afraid to answer real questions because it exposes your history. What's going on with this? this?